Okay, in this uh, exercise 14, uh, from the plot of yield strength versus grain diameter power minus 1 by 2, uh, for a 70 copper 30 zinc cartridge brass, determine values for the constant sigma naught and ky. And now predict the yield strength of uh, this alloy when the average grain diameter is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. Uh, millimeter. So for this we have the equation uh, yield strength sigma y is equal to sigma naught plus ky uh, diameter power minus 1 by 2. So if we have a graph between sigma y and uh, t power minus 1 by 2 uh, we will get a straight line and the y intercept and the slope of this straight line will be the values of sigma naught and ky so in fact uh, we have this interactive graph in this uh, shared file for the links So this is the graph. So, okay. uh, so in this graph we can take two sets of values for uh, t power minus 1 by 2 and yield strength. So for the first set of value maybe I take it as t power minus 1 by 2 is 4 and then its corresponding sigma y will be yeah, something here 76.1. So 4 and 76.1 is one set of values. So, sigma y is uh, sigma y is seventy six point one. Okay, so seventy. Uh, that means I am inputting these values into this equation into this equation. Seventy six point one is equal to sigma naught. This we need to find, and similarly k y we need to find. And d power minus one by two was four. Okay, and uh, the second set of values maybe I take here okay 12 and uh, it will be 12 and 178.4 so 178.4 sigma naught plus k y into 12 so we have these two equations we can solve these two equations for sigma naught and k y so for solving maybe you can subtract this uh, first equation from the second equation and then we can find the value of uh, ky so uh, by solving these two equations so for example uh, then you get this uh, you subtract this equation from here uh, first equation from the second equation so you get uh, 102.3 into 8 ky so from here ky will be equal to 12.78 and its units will be megapascal millimeter power 1 by 2 and uh, sigma naught we can find because now we have the value of ky so we can input the value of ky into this equation so you can get 76.1 is equal to sigma naught plus 12.78 times 4 so from here you can get the value of sigma naught will be equal to approximately 25 megapascal okay so this is the answer for part uh, a part b so now predict the yield strength of this alloy when the average grain diameter is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when we have the values of these constants so sigma y we can find by inputting this values so sigma y is equal to 25 plus k k is 12.78 12.78 into d power minus 1 by 2 so diameter is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 so 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 uh, power minus uh, 
uh, 1 by 2. Okay. So, from here, sigma y will be equal to, so it will be 310.76 megapascal. Okay, the next question is exercise 15. Uh, the average uh, grain diameter for a brass material was measured as a function of time at uh, 650 degrees centigrade, which is tabulated below at two different times. What was the original grain diameter? And what grain diameter would you predict after 150 minutes and 650 degree uh, centigrade? So this data has been given. This data is for the uh, growth, uh, grain growth. So grain growth. So grain growth uh, takes place at elevated temperature after the recrystallization process. And for this grain growth, we have this equation: uh, d power n minus d naught power n is equal to k times t. So where d is the uh, grain diameter, d naught is the initial grain diameter. Uh, t is the time and k and n are the uh, constants of this uh, equation. Uh, this constant n is normally taken as 2, so we can take it as 2. And now we have the data uh, for the grain diameters with respect to time, so we can input this data into this equation and then we can get two simultaneous equations. So, for example, if I apply this for second data, so then it will be 0 0.066, 0 0.066 square minus d naught square is equal to k times t. That is 90. And the second, uh, this first data is 0 0.039 square minus d naught square is equal to k times 30. So if we solve these two equations, so that means what we can do is if I just uh, subtract this second equation from the first uh, equation, then I will get this these values. So it will be 0 0.002, it will be 0 0.00. 2835, 2835, and d square will cancel out, so it will be 60k. So from here you can find the value of k is equal to 0 0.002835 divided by 60, which is equal to uh, 0 0.00030, uh, rather four zeros, uh, 4725. Okay, so or otherwise 4.7 into 10 to the power minus 5. Yeah, there will be some units. Okay, um, then uh, the value of d square uh, d dot can be found by inputting this value in either of these two equations. So maybe I put I use this first equation. So 0 0.066 square minus d dot square is equal to uh, 4.725 into 10 to the power minus 5 times 90. So from here we can find the value of uh, d naught square equal to of d naught square will be equal to um, equal to uh, point zero six six square okay minus uh, four point seven two five ten to the power minus five times ninety so d naught square will be equal to let me calculate so this will be equal to point zero 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 one zero three five so therefore d naught will be equal to square root of 0 
so it will be 0 0.01 0 0.01 millimeter so the the answer for uh, the first part is 0 0.01 millimeter uh, for the second part uh, b so what grain diameter would you predict after 150 minute at 650 degree centigrade so so for part b we can uh, find the grain diameter so it will be d square just apply this equation minus 0 0.01 square is equal to k k is equal to 4.725 into 10 to the power minus 5 times um, 150 minute so from here d square will be equal to uh, d square will be equal to 0 0.007191 and d will be then equal to square root of this point 0 0.007191 so equal to 0 0.08 so 0 0.08 5 millimeter so the diameter will increase from initial 0 0.01 millimeter to 0 0.085 millimeter in 150 minutes